Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys uh, some hacks in under five minutes. Yes, uh, these will be very easy and they will be quarantine friendly since I just want you guys to try things at home right now. But before starting the video, I would like to just tell you guys something. Uh, I have been experimenting a lot in this quarantine uh, recently, like yesterday only, is this. Yeah, so uh, I did cut my bangs uh, at home in this quarantine. I was never an experimenting person with my hair, never. Uh, I used to have this hairstyle as a child, but I never just had anything except the U-shaped cut when I grew up. So this was just a little experiment and by the reaction that I'm getting from people, from my close ones, uh, it doesn't look that bad okay so please let me know if you just like this little experiment that i did and okay uh, so starting off with our first idea we would need any cardboard uh, you can take any of your amazon or any orders that you get from e-commerce website or any other cardboard uh, we will just cut it in a rectangle or any particular shape that you want to and now I'm going to paint this using a turquoise, dark turquoise color. Uh, you guys can choose any particular color you wish to. We are going to use aluminium foil. Yes, that will be available in everyone's kitchen. Please make sure that it's not crackled from any uh, so any area. Uh, next, I'm going to fold this into. Uh, I'm going to make multiple folds in this aluminium foil, as you can see. Next, I'm taking a pencil and making these leaf shapes, which are basically two arcs, uh, and uh, we will just cut them out. Uh, these will act as uh, one of our flower shapes in the uh, hanging that we are making. So once you get cut it out, uh, we are also going to cut out a circle shape. You can cut that from the rest, uh, the rest of the piece that is left. Once all those shapes are cut, I am just taking some fevicol and uh, pasting this circle on the edge, on one edge of the whole cardboard. Uh, then we will have to separate out all the leaf shapes. Uh, aluminium foil really sticks together so you will have a little problem there but uh, just separate out all the leaves and one by one I'm just going to paste all the leaves. One hack for people like me, you can just uh, spread fevicol on the whole cardboard and paste the leaves then. Uh, it is easier and it is really quick to do in this way and don't worry the paint will not be destroyed or will not get affected with the fevicol because fevicol is perfectly fine. Later on you can paint the uh, spaces left. And yeah, we're done. The next hack that we have is revamping our stationery. I'm taking basic nitrage pencils and I am using my poster colors or acrylic colors. Uh, I am using pastel colors here because I'm a very big fan of pastel colors. Uh, and I'm just going to paint all over my pencils. make any uh, number of coats as you want your color to be on that pencil I am using a binder clip here to dry them out I basically took a binder clip attached to the end of the pencil and then hung the binder clip on a normal paper clip or basically any clip that you have or you can see like this it's really easy to uh, dry them and I also tried uh, making some patterns on the pencil uh, it looks pretty good you can try it's totally optional and you can also try to sharpen them and don't worry the paint doesn't come off at all as you can see here uh, it's it comes out pretty clean and the pencils look really cute So this one is to organize yourself a little. I'm using a cardboard here, any cutout cardboard. You'll need a binder clip, some paint and brushes, a scissor and some A4 sheets. Any sheets would work. It doesn't have to be a very particular type of sheet. I just painted the cardboard orange and then I'm taking all the sheets and trying to cut thin strips of that. It, this size should be according to the cardboard that you have made. And uh, I am using a scoring board. You can use normal scissors for this. 
once all these uh, shapes are cut i'm going to divide it into half again because i don't want the sheets to cover the full cardboard and once they are done i'm going to take the binder clip and attach these sheets to the cardboard uh, which will act as my little notepad here this will act as uh, the place or the clip basically to hold our pen or pencil i'm attaching it this little clip using fevicol and uh, next you can decorate this uh, little notepad in any way you want i just took some feathers artificial feathers and uh, stick stuck these to the notepad i'm also taking a uh, pen and writing let's do this to just keep me motivated So let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to have a video dedicated totally to calligraphy or creative writing. I would love to make that for you. So yeah, we are done. Uh, you can write any to-do lists for your day or for your week in this. Now for the last and my favorite one, I am using an egg tray and any particular paint, you can use any color of your choice. I am using royal blue. Uh, I am just going to cut off the egg tray into my desired shape. You can uh, cut it into whichever size you wish to have. I am making two here. Now next I am going to just trim the edges so that it looks neat. I'm just taking my royal blue paint here and uh, using a paint brush I'm going to paint all over the egg tray. Uh, just a little tip for you guys, it's a little difficult to paint on egg tray since it absorbs a lot of color. So please use any scrap colors or if you are having a plenty of them then try to use that. And to have a little friend of this blue one I made a yellow one which looks so pretty. Guys can use these to organize your stationery or any particular stuff that you wish to uh, and this can be in your appropriate size as you can see it can hold off big stuff as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed these ideas and you're going to try these at home. Uh, my personal favorite among these four is going to be this uh, little notepad that I made. And I can actually see myself using this because uh, it is very convenient. You can add pages anytime. You can have your pen, pencil here and it's cute. Okay, so I'm definitely going to use this and also this organizer. I am totally drooling over this color and I am definitely excited to use these. Drop a comment down below which one was your favorite one. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Press the little bell icon, all the good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.